Alright, uh, welcome to another C++ tutorial. On this one, I want to go over uh, sphere collision, collision detection. Um, go ahead and show you the algorithm real quick. So you get a kind of an overview of uh, the algorithm of what we're going to be doing here. And uh, this if statement down here checks to see if there was, that's our uh, if statement that we're going to use to check and see if there was a, a, a collision. Alright. So, I'm going to make this um, pretty easily. Um, I'm not going to use any arrays or anything. I'm just going to use just uh, just numbers that you would you'd normally see. So, our H1 and H2 are going to be equal to the algorithm that you saw. And then we're going to see an H total. I guess we'll capitalize that. And then we'll do the same for K, K1, K2, and then K total. And then the same for our L, so L1, L2, and L total. And then we will do a radius, so we'll get our R1, R2, and our R squared total, and our R total. Okay. Alright, first thing we want to do is our C out. We want to enter the radius of R1, and then Cn R1. Oops. And then same thing. Enter the radius of R2. Cn R2, and then we'll just uh, use the same copy and paste for our uh, K H K and L. So we want to enter the H value of H1. So H1, H1, and enter the H value of H, and you know we'll just copy that, it'll be a little easier. So then we'll enter the K value, K value, K, K, and um, as you can tell it's fairly simple right now. Um, hopefully if you're watching you are you know, coding as well. That way you kind of just learn what I'm doing. Um, you don't really necessarily have to understand exactly what's going on right now. It's just to um, to just get you programming. I mean, that's really basically what you need to do. So let's uh, go back up here to our, our radiuses. And we're going to do our r squared is equal to our r2 plus r1. And then we're going to give it the actual square root is equal to the square root r squared. Okay. And if you want to convert this from a double to a float, all you'd have to do is just do float like that. And then con it would convert it for you. But uh, we're not going to do that. We're just going to leave it as a double. Alright, and then do the same thing for the H. Well, kind of. So our H total is going to be equal to our H2 minus H1. Do the same thing for the K total. K total is equal to K2 minus K1. Oops, that's an H. Okay. And... L total is equal to L2 minus L1. Alright, that looks good. And um, like I said before, my other tours, if you know, if you just want to run a check statement to make sure you, you're getting the right totals, you know, just see out your H total. You get it. 
just just see it out that way um, you can see if you're getting an error anywhere in here that way you, when you get to the bottom and you keep getting the wrong answer you, you know kind of where the problem um, is going to lie alright so now we're going to just re-initialize um, what our h total, k total, and all that's going to equal that way we don't have to keep making different uh, variable calls we can kind of just um, use these. It's, it's really not good programming practice to, to use the same and convert them from other, but for these small programs it, it doesn't really matter. Um, I would normally suggest using an array for all this, but um, I, I just did it. I want to do something a little, kind of a little bit more in plain English. That way, you know, it's easy to follow along and you don't have to sit there and wonder what's going on. So, let's do actually we'll do instead of using the power this time we'll use the times equal and that's just timesing it by itself so instead of saying you know h total equals h total times h total we can just put this multiple sign equals and it'll just times it by itself kind of a nice trick if you're, uh, if you're not really too familiar with um, C++ programming or programming in general. Alright, so now our radius total is going to be equal to our k or our h total plus our k total plus our l total. And we want to square that, so square root function. Alright. Alright, and then let's, uh, let's give it do an if statement. If our R total is less than or equal to if you remember up here, our R squared. We're gonna check out for our R squared. R squared. C out there was a collision. This just means that one of the circles um, was inside of the other circle. Or if it's on the edge, you can, um, it'll still, you know, register as a uh, as a collision. Because um, even if it's, you know, just touched, it's it's still a collision. So there was a collision. And, uh, and this, you know, this kind of programming is, is very useful for, um, game development programming and you know just uh, getting your, your really fundamentals that way you know when you get if you're into like game programming and you want to get a job you uh, you know how to do collision detection there was not a collision and uh, when you get into the bigger programs you're going to have matrices of all this that are going to check for each radius and you're going to have a lot more bounding bounding spheres which are going to be used you know as your bounding box to 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 decide whether or not a collision occurred um, so this is just basic structure compile it all right and now we're going to do a radius of 40 oops let me write that down radius of 40 50 and then our h1 is going to be equal to 30, 0, 20, and this should equal uh, a collision. And our L2 is negative 50. There was not a collision. Okay, one second. All right, sorry about that. Um, all you want to do is just comment this out right here under our, I, uh, I squared it, which I shouldn't have. Um, so yeah, just either comment it out or just just delete it, and then and then we'll do the same. We'll do our 40 and our 50, which is our radiuses, and then we'll give it our points of H1, which are 30. Zero, twenty, forty, negative ten, and negative fifty. There was a collision. All right, good deal.
Alright, and um, the radius is, is just like a big circle. Um, so if you know, if you're, you know, you have a circle, you know, say say here, and its radius is 50, and it goes around like that. And it goes around like that. And you have another one over here, and it has a circle, and its radius is, you know, interlap. It's going to equal a collision, and that that's what this does. So, um, hope this is helpful. Hope hope some of you have used it, programmed with me. Um, thank you for watching.